Can you hear the sizzle? We're getting into the Easter season, and for many people, that means lamb on the dinner table. But if you're afraid to cook lamb, yeah, let somebody else do it for you. Like Longhorn Steakhouse, John Poulter is with us this morning, always teaching us how to make those uh, menu items that I, I think a lot of people are kind of afraid of. Oh, absolutely. Who wants to mess up lamb chops? Absolutely. Not me. <laughs> and when you're talking about proteins and mm -hmm. lamb or beef in yeah. general, it's very expensive. Sure. You so don't want to just experiment. You don't want to experiment. <laughs> right. So um, today we're going to be featuring our lamb chops mm -hmm. like we have at Longhorn Steakhouse. And um, the, the great thing is uh, about half of Americans say they've never had lamb yes, before. Yes, that's me. I have not. I have not. So let's have half a Toledo come into my restaurant <laughs> this weekend. And we'll have a good time. Yes, let's do so, it. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the. We're going to talk about some seasonings. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the the lamb chops mm -hmm. themselves and how to kind of break them down while you're at yep. home. So we're going to start with a just a nice gorgeous lamb chop, and Look we hand that. cut these at our Longhorn. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have our uh, grill masters mm -hmm. at Longhorn. Mm -hmm. And they do a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. So today I get to be your grill master. All right. So um, what we do is uh, a lot of people. You, this is how you're going to probably get it at the I'm supermarket. I'm going to go and look at that and go. Ah. Exactly. <laughs> very very easy. Okay. So all you do is you take this um, land okay, chop. Stand you it take, up kind of yep, like that. You take right. your knife you right on sharp down through. Knife, Correct. I would imagine. Yep. Good knife. Now. There may be a little issue. There are some little bones and stuff, okay. so you almost got to guide it right okay. through that little area. All right. Make sure you do have a sharp knife. Mm -hmm. That's always going to make sure you're, you're a little safer with things. Okay. So you cut down your lamb chops. Mm -hmm. They look great. You want mm -hmm. a nice light pink, dark red color. Mm -hmm. And we make a marinade, okay. okay? So we take some parsley, some onion, some garlic, we add a little oil. This is what okay. we got. So we take all of our lamb chops. Okay. We make and we throw them in a bowl and we add our marinade. And you put the marinade, right? okay. How long do you usually let them you want marinate? these? You want these sitting for at least an hour. Okay. But you could, you could do them, you overnight could probably, you overnight would be okay. fantastic okay. as well. Just throw them in there the night before. So mm -hmm. now we have our, our lamb chops, yeah. they're, they're marinated. And the great thing is some of these little chunks of onion and garlic mm. kind of get caramelized on this awesome. grill and it's gonna look great. So right before we serve, we have our big three or big four seasonings. Mm -hmm. um, we have salt, pepper, garlic. Okay. You mix those three together. And, that's all um, you need, right? That's all you need, yeah. right? So you just give them a nice little seasoning, nice. both sides. Okay. Put them Put on them your on the grill. grill. Now, I'll, I like to have a nice seasoned grill okay. or an oiled up grill. Okay. But as you can see, we're indoors here, so we're on this little griddle. <laughs> He's doing the best he can. We already have so much oil mm -hmm. in this marinade, we don't have to get too crazy okay. with it. So but how you want, long do we let them sit on each side? You're gonna wanna let these sit for, I would say about three minutes or okay. four minutes on each side. Okay. And as you can see, mm. you're getting some nice color on these. And you're looking for about 145 degrees okay. on these. Okay, so test you now, know, your thermometer. Right, right, and it, right. it's just like it's just like beef. Mm -hmm. So some people may prefer a little less cooked, okay. a little more cooked. And so when you okay. add the rest of the fixins, which I'm about mm -hmm. to, it's it's so delicious. Oh. You could have it any any way it's you so want. So good. Uh, and this is how you got it all dolled up here. Uh, these mashed potatoes, I asked you, are these normal mashed potatoes? No, no, you have no, no. Jazz them up. These are jazzed up mashed <laughs> potatoes. So we take some roasted garlic chunks, mm. some fresh cut chives. Sour well, cream, you Sour said in there cream, too. just to make it a, a little richer and, and creamier. And I feel like you need greens when it comes to Easter and lamb chops, well, right? Well, yeah, then so you, you can, you can tell the, the wife you're eating a little healthier, yeah. too. Yeah. And, and they don't mind potatoes, that. potatoes, right? And then the greens. So, <laughs> as you, yeah, so now we're just going to take some of these lamb chops. And then you guys chops. make them look so pretty. Right, and we can just put a few on there, right? And, and then what that, kind of sauce is this This here? last touch, right? So this is our oven-roasted tomato bordelais sauce, right? Bordelais, what bordelais. is bordelais? It is just Sounds a fancy. deep, rich stock that they reduce into a nice sauce. Mm. It's a fancy gravy. Gravy. Fancy gravy. <laughs> fancy gravy. Fancy gravy. So, I don't know, uh, we, we have some knives and forks. My children like to eat these like- Like lollipops. Cavemen and lollipops, <laughs> they love them. And when you're preparing them, 
you look back at the counter and a bunch are missing and your kids are running around. <laughs> They're running with around with lollipops. I yes. want to try this because I have not. Absolutely. I guess maybe I should try the fork and the knife. Absolutely. I, I, okay. This is television, right? So I'm going to probably let you do all the cooking, and I'm just going to come to your, to your so restaurant. So you come into Longhorn Steakhouse on Talmadge Road, 4155 Talmadge, mm -hmm. and we have tons we of grill go. masters there that are going to doctor this up just the way you want. And like I hmm. said, some people don't even know we have lamb on the menu. But I'll tell you what, I get calls every week That's when we delicious. don't have lamb. When Where you get is lamb. your lamb? Where's the lamb? <laughs> so... It's so tender. Super and so tender. So much flavor. Absolutely. A ton you, of flavor. And with that quick marinade, mm -hmm. you don't have to let it set too long. Yeah. You can pack tons of flavor in such a nice little elegant meal mm. that uh, many of your family or friends may not have had. You could really wow them. Yes, you sure can. Or, you know, come on out. Uh, it's Friday. You've got fish. You've got great salmon there. And then um, on Saturday, Sunday, if you if you like your steak, of course, you've Absolutely. got Absolutely. You've got, we, we got our T-bone right? steak, our outlaw ribeye yeah. steak. Mm. You can't go wrong with those. I mean, the one of the best steaks in the city. Mm. You get a filet and a New York strip on that T-bone. It, it's dynamite. We got some great drinks, mm -hmm. great specials. Great Everybody's team. covered. Everybody's happy. Absolutely. <laughs> and um, if you don't feel like doing it, you come down and you let Longhorn Steakhouse do it for you. Do it for yeah. you. And they have takeout as well. That Absolutely. was delicious. Thank you so much for treating me this morning. Really sure. appreciate it. <laughs> well, up next, it's time to head to